Hey everybody, welcome to Dog Plays Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. I've never played this one before actually. Just go for a new game here. No data, that sounds about right. This is originally a GameCube title. Let's just play as a normal maybe. Of players already know their way around the game. This is the standard difficulty setting. Uh, probably not difficult. I know Fire Emblem can really kick your ass if you're not careful. Yeah, this is the GameCube title. Or a GameCube title. And I've never played that one before, so this is completely blind. This took so long to set up, you won't believe. But let me just shut up during that little cutscene here. Well, Ike. You had enough? Well, that's just great voice acting. I don't know if you can even hear the characters. Oh. They're just shouting, Ike! Damn. He's going to feel that in his lumber in the morning. Ike? Oh no! Oh no! He got knocked out. How did he get into Super Smash Bros? This game has a weird filter over everything. It's called Path of Radiance because of how her face is shining. You can hear somebody humming a melody there. Damn, look at that flower picking animation. Did you steal those from Final Fantasy VII by the way? It's weird that there are no subtitles. Is this how it's gonna be? Prologue mercenaries. Okay, yeah, we're getting right in. Yeah, this was really difficult to set up actually. Then like the game is also super loud for some reason. Her name is just Mist, huh? Are you alright? Yeah, I'll be fine. His name is Grail? So the sleeping prince awakens. Father, I can't believe you. I know those are practice swords, but they are still heavy. You have no right to be so rough on Ike. This is too much for the boy, he'll never make it as a mercenary. But... Mist, you don't have to worry, I told you I'm fine. Ha, huh, you better be. Now grab your sword and get ready. Why does he look like a non-evil Ganondorf? Or a slightly less evil Ganondorf? Look at his nose, man. It's massive. What? Don't tell me you're going at it again. But just until I had a single... Uh, until I land a single blow. Oh, get good, Ike, man. I'm not giving up until I can get one hit... And one good hit in on father. I like your resolve. Ike, but it takes more than a strong will to... Huh? Aha! I knew I'd find you here! Hi Boyd, what brings you here? Why is the text scrolling so slow, man? Nothing special, I just like skip ahead a little bit. You said you were going to get the boss, but you never came back. I got picked to check up on you. Oh, sorry, I got caught up with Ike and my father. It's nothing besides. I figured I'd get a good laugh watching Ike get worked over by the boss. You look fine. What happened? Nothing at all. I'm sorry to disappoint you. You just missed it. Just a minute ago, he was out cold. Missed? <laughs> sorry. You came at just the right time, Boyd. Does he get an ass whooping too? You can be Ike's sparing partner. What? Me? I'm beginning to think it would be better if he's sparred with somebody closer to his own skill. I understand. Thanks for help, Boyd. Hmm. 
I don't know about this closer to his skill business, but I'm ready. Oh, they even give us a grid, huh? Alright, I'm ready for you. Let's go. As you play the game, tutorial windows like this one will appear from time to time. Oh yeah, no skippable tutorial, huh? Anna, your helpful hint girl, will explain and demonstrate any new features. If you want to watch a tutorial again, simply choose guide from the map menu. Use the tutorials? Uh, let's just say yes. First tutorial explains the basics of how to move. No, thank you. I think I know the one. I think I can just... Can I? Yeah, I can just move like here. It's pretty standard probably. Hey, what's the hold up? Let's get started already. I'm coming. Wait right there. Direct combat tutorial? Nah, I can do this. You just go here and you like smack him like that. Trainer, okay. You can do it. Boy, it's got nothing. Take him out. Nothing? I don't have nothing. I mean, I have... I mean... Zoop. Yeah, just hit me in the head with an axe. I mean, <laughs> it's normal sparring. <laughs> I'm not done yet. We're just getting started. Yeah, then why don't you attack me? What is shoving actually? Can I just like shove him one space away? Yeah, okay. Wow, come on. What's that all about? You're wasting your time. Yeah, I'm not done yet. Okay. This is a mechanic I didn't know yet. Just wanted to try it out. And smack. Nice. Totally didn't kill you here. That wasn't too bad. Boy, you're such a loser. Got your trap. Good work, boy. That's enough. Oh, alright. See ya. Your swordsmanship was decent enough, Ike. Don't forget how it felt. Won't always be this easy. I know. Now that you're done warming up, it's time for you to face me again. I was hoping you'd say that. But first, mist. Right here. It's funny because mist is like dung in German, like cow crap, basically. <laughs> so every time they shout mist, I'm like, why are you swearing, man? You go, Ike, it's a vulnerary. I'd recommend using it now before you fight father last time he knocked you silly. Can you come with me bro? Always take time to heal your wounds in a battle, even small ones. By the time you think you're in trouble it's probably too late. Don't get into that situation. Don't think I need to like watch a use item tutorial. Just watch here, item, use, done. <laughs> That's how easy it is. Get ready Ike, here I come. Oh finally, somebody who attacks me first. Give it your all. Okay, that wasn't bad. Come on boy. You're going to give me a challenge this time around? And no, are we? Should I attack him? Let's just do it, man. Okay, I think I should survive this with like 1 HP, right? If he doesn't crit me or anything. Just watch him crit me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ugh. 
dramatically fall down. The swords are just called trainer, but it looks actually like they're beating each other up with cricket bats. I think stat gains are random. If I remember Fire Emblem correctly here. Ike, you were great. Father, you were holding back, weren't you? What, is that true? You could tell the difference, that means you're improving. You know, I wasn't really giving it my all either. That is such a lie. Ah. So father, does it mean you finally admit that I'm ready? What, to join the company? To take on a job? Yeah, I mean, Boyd's already out there on the battlefield. I'm ready, I'm tired of being a trainee. Listen, the difference between you and me is that I'm a professional. A professional who just got beat? I <laughs> think that's true. There was just a random chance. Random chance. Got a point, Ike. Alright, tomorrow will be your first day as a full-fledged mercenary. Really? But, if I think it's too much, you're back to trainee status. You better work hard. No problem. Watch. I'll catch up to everyone in no time. We'll see. We'd better be heading back to the fort. Everyone's waiting. Is this how you become a mercenary? Your dad just says, okay, you can kill. Yeah, please save. 10 minutes tutorial, huh? Chapter 1, the battle begins. Yeah, I forgot that my amplip is actually separated into many, many chapters. Hmm, look at a crispy mercenary form. Good morning, Ike. Today's your first day as a professional soldier, isn't it? So your name is just Titania, like straight up? Okay, it seems like a normal name. Yeah, I'm ready to go. What you are is late. The others were suited up and ready at the break of dawn. Sorry, I'll get up earlier from now on. So what's my first job? I'm talking with Titania right now. Wait outside until we're done. <laughs> Go outside where the adults are having a talk. Yes, sir. Very well, Commander Grail. Shall we continue? You were telling me about some bandits that need taken care of, weren't you? Correct. The request comes from a nearby village. According to our reports, the bandits are not all that strong. I think... I think it's best if we ride out and take a look. I plan on taking Oscar and Boyd along with me. Just the brothers? Hmm, go ahead and add Ike to your team. Is it Chinon? Chinon, Gatry and Ike can handle the other two jobs easily enough. Titania, I'm leaving Ike in your care. I'm trusting you to show him the ropes. I have a feeling he's going to die here. That's a gut feeling. Understood, Commander. Come on, Ike. Let's get you set up. Alright, my first job. Finally, murder. Captain Titania, preparations are complete and I'm ready to go. Impeccable timing, it's nice to know we can always count on you to be at the ready, Oscar. There's that joke again. Don't forget about me, I'm ready for action. Is that so, boy? That's a surprise. Ah, no, today it isn't. As of today, I'm going to be the absolute model of perfection. I need to set a good example for Ike. I'll take your word for it. Your first campaign at last. I know you've wanted this for a while. Are you nervous, Ike? I think I was more nervous last night. I could hardly sleep. It's too real, man. This morning, I'm feeling pretty good. It's a calm before the storm. Should try to relax. You're not going to be out there alone. Yeah, you're right. Right, everyone ready? Let's go. Yeah, finally, man. Let's let's murder some people. Oh, those look like people we can murder. Probably entering from the like bottom right there. Yeah. All right, let me explain what's going on. 
This is a map of Chaldea. They've hired us to drive off some bandits. We are the blue marks here. The red dots are the bandits. Yep, that makes sense. There aren't many of them, but we can't get careless. The one in front of the building up north is their leader. Ah, the big one of course. Our mission is to take him out and recapture the building. Ike, listen up. All this stuff is old news to me, but I can give a rookie like you a few tips. First off, don't let yourself get worked up and jump out in front of everyone. You'll just end up getting hurt. Don't try to do too much, Ike. When things get dangerous, you can and should rely on us. As long as you watch how the enemy moves carefully, you'll be fine. Think of this as a training mission. I'll do that, Oscar Boyd. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. Just sit back and watch how a professional handles things. I like that it just shows another text box here in the middle. Good use of space. Enough to chat you free. We've got work to do. Yeah, just... Man, they're talking so much. Ike, before you engage an enemy, take a good look at his weapon. The weapon you use often determines first the upper hand in a fight. For example, the axe I'm wielding serves me well against lances, but it fares less well against swords. And my lance is great against swords, but not against axes. And to complete the triangle... Ah, my sword is stronger against axes, but weak against lances, right? Yes, exactly. If you can remember that, you'll be more effective in combat. It's just a basic stone. This will come in handy soon enough, so don't forget it. Swords of axes I won't forget. Not if I remember that I'll always have the advantage over you, Boyd. Do you think you could maybe find a different way of remembering? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, okay, accidentally skipped that one. Watch the visit tutorial. No, thank you. I think I know exactly what it means, the visit tutorial. Mounted units tutorial? Nah, thanks. I think I can just go here, yeah, and then visit. Ah, you're with the mercenaries, right? Thank you for coming. Heard a lot about you here. Take this weapon. We're farmers, not fighters. Maybe you'll get some use from it. But a steel sword, okay. Boy, it has an iron axe. I can still move with her, okay, that's interesting. I don't know if I can visit this one, but I can for sure visit this one. Uh, what if I move around like this with her? Ah, I cannot attack, okay. Might as well move just like here then. It's tough to say, let's just move here. I think she's like our crutch right now. Ike. I can go here. Okay, you have four iron swords, huh? Okay. Seven times two. This won't quite kill him. Well, let's just see how we perform here. Okay, he hit. I hope this guy doesn't hit us and then the other guy comes in and then we're dead. That, <laughs> that would be bad news. Oh, we can actually hit that guy here and block him from attacking us. Just give him one hit with the iron axe maybe. Oh, okay. So he missed us there, nice. Okay, and then Iron Lance. I think you can't really do anything because the Lance is bad against Axes. I mean, it doesn't really make sense, but this is just how Fire Emblem works. So you just come here, maybe. Look at this guy, Zawana. What's going on out there? Is that some sort of army? With four persons? Four people? Four units? Ah, a bunch of mercenaries looking for their next meal? The villagers must have hired them. Listen up, lads. Hurt them and hurt them bad. We'll let this bunch live and we'll have hordes of hired swords hounding us the rest of our days. 
Oh look at this guy, he's just named Bandit, that must be a main character. It's those fool villagers, they think they can buy a bunch of cell swords and chase us away. It ain't gonna work out how they want it. All they get for their trouble is a bunch of ruined houses. Tear them down boys, that'll teach them. Wow, you're vicious man. Come on boy, you can do it. He has done it, man. Damn. That was a critical hit, probably. Cheering works. Can't I show boy to his boss here? Okay. Yep, I accept. Nice. Level up. Yeah, it's not too bad, I think. Strength and defense. HP wise, getting a little low. What's with that mercenary up here? It's also just a bandit, okay. Some. I don't know, like. The first Fire Emblem I played was Shadow Dragon on the DS, actually. And there were some units, like. If you look at those guys, they have like character portraits and they have a name. Like, also this boss guy, I think it's very normal for bosses, but those guys, they don't have a character portrait and they're just called, like, Bandit. But some field units, they might also have a name and a character portrait, and then you can walk up with a certain unit of yours and then talk to them and recruit them mid-battle. Like, it's just something to keep in mind. Okay, let's see, Titania, you can't quite walk up here. That's terrible. This guy is an iron sword. You have an axe. Ah, you can't use the steel sword apparently. Yeah, that's too bad. I will just have Oscar walk up here then. Ike. I think we can also see how far those guys can walk. Yeah, this guy can walk rather far. Wow, actually pretty far. Let's just walk here then. And if you die, you really... You just die, man. Like, you're permanently out. Except for, I think the main character is just directly game over if Ike dies, probably. Just bring Titania in here anyway. She's a paladin, she can take a few hits. Steel axe and iron axe, okay. Oh, he's actually going for a land sky. I think that is actually preferable for us here. Quick step. No, please. Oh, oh thank goodness. <laughs> he couldn't make it there in time. Okay, let's see. This guy has an axe. This guy also has an axe? Yeah. How do I handle this? I think Titania you just visit here? Or some loot? Since those bandits took over, we can't even sleep at night. Please, help us save our village. Here, my mother left me this. I hope it serves you well. A severed rope, okay. Then we just wait here with you. And this bandit, I would really like to just knock you out. That should do it right. Yep, he's gone. Nice skirt, by the way. Goodbye, son. Ah, and then we can move, okay. So axes are good against lances. Uh, where should we move actually? Would like to be outside of those guys reach, if possible. Just walk back here. Can the boss move? Can okay, is something to consider then? 
I think I will move here and maybe use another Vulnery here. Vulnerary. There we go. And then I'll just move Boyd here. And if that big guy moves up, he's just getting bodied. My work here is done. The house is, the house is totaled. Time to move on to bigger things now. Smash me some mercenaries. Oh, he's going for Boyd. Okay, it's probably the smarter move. Give him Boyd. Oh, he's also going for Boyd. Okay. Nice try, you son of a bitch. Okay, you've got 12 HP, you've got 14 HP. Yep. Ike. Show him the edge of your iron sword. Make him regret his day. Wow. Okay. You really had to hit me there, huh? You bastard. Yeah, this guy got 14 HP. Uh, there's one more sword guy. Wait, how far can this guy move? He can move all the way there. Okay, so I'll just bring you here. It's probably all right. Titania, I think you can move like right there and then if you're given the steel axe that's 20 times 2 if you're given the iron axe 17 times 2 Just erase him go Good night Two exp Yeah, you just wait here and then boy it we also have a vulnerary actually. Let's use one here. If you're wondering why the Titania only get 2 XP, I think she's an advanced class. You see, she's level 1, but like she's way stronger than everyone else. How it works here is like their base classes, and then if you hit certain requirements, I think, or something like that, you can just go to an advanced class. A spec into an advanced class is very standard JRPG stuff actually. Let's wait here with Ike and just skip my turn. Yeah, like this. Oh, this guy will actually move up, okay. Didn't anticipate that. Uh, Ike. Just move like back here and then just use your last Vulnerary. Why do I feel like I'm already playing on hard here? This does... This is to 10 damage apparently. Oh, it's not quite what I want here. Anyway, let's just hit him first. Yeah, he's standing with 1 HP left. I don't want to use Titania to fight him, actually. Maybe Boyd can just take him out here. 62% chance to hit. You can do it, right? He's done it, okay. Even though it's disadvantage, don't try this at home, kids. Got an iron sword. Nice. Okay, Titania, you just walk up here. Okay, the boss will still not move. Even though he can technically move, I guess. There's no other items or anything here. Um, I slowly approach this man. Just stay in formation here. I really don't want to get killed in the first mission. That's why I'm like 
being so weird here. Okay, if I move here and I attack with my iron sword, it's seven times two and heals me for seven. Didn't somebody have a steel sword? Was it you? Yeah, you have a steel sword. Uh, let's just trade a steel for an iron sword here. What does rescue mean? Let's just forget about that for now. Okay, let's see how much we do with a steel sword instead. It's 10, but it's only once actually, okay. Then I'd rather have 7 times 2. Hey, nothing but the boy. Well, every brat needs a beating now and then. Are you ready for it? Not today. If you want to run away, now's your chance. <laughs> Imagine that. You sassing me? Don't that beat all? Nice try, meatball. And then we just end the turn here. Oh, and he heals a little bit because he's in that little house area thing. Okay. Ouch, that hurt. Come on, Ike, you can do this. If you beat this guy, you can stay in Super Smash Bros. Congratulations. <laughs> Urgh. I'm, I'm meant for better than this. I don't want to die here. Well, too bad. Nice, that's a lot of EXP. Level up. Oh, there was a bad level up. Only HP and skill. You got an Iron Axe. Your pack is full, discard an item, son of a bitch. Okay, let's just discard one of the iron swords, maybe. Maybe the used one here. Watch a victory seize tutorial, okay. Oh, this is what Anna looks like in this game. Achoo, oh, you said seize, not sneeze, my mistake. In certain battles, you have I capture or seize the key map points in order to clear the map. You're not even trying to stay in character here, huh? Generally though, an enemy leader, also called a boss, will be guarding the seize point. So you need to defeat the boss before seizing that location. Even though Ike is the only one able to use the seize command. Okay. I see. You can defeat the boss with other characters too. Let's try this out. Yeah, I get it. It's a little bit weird they show this to us now. Because we already defeated the boss, right? Boss defeated. I'll move Ike to the C spot next. Seize appears in the command menu. When you select this and press A, you'll be asked if you really want to seize. Select yes to seize the point and clear the battle map. Okay, that's how it goes. We move to the next map. Your battle objective appears under the terrain information window in the map's upper left. Ah, okay. I see. When you advance to a new map, check it to see what you need to do to clear the map. And that wraps up the seize tutorial. No, please don't show it to me again. Okay, so I have to end my turn here. And then I can move Ike. Didn't realize you can only seize with Ike, actually. Great. That's the end of it. Ike, are you right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Just a few scratches from big axes here. You know, you surprised me to think that you've come so far. You killed like two men today. Look at my father though. I still got such a long way to go. There's nothing you can do about that. After all, Commander Grail is... Huh? What about my father? Oh, nothing. Oh, just... Weird plot spinning and not telling people standard anime stuff, I guess. Nothing? Now I'm really curious. Don't worry, you'll learn about it someday. Probably in the plot of this game. I wish she said that actually, just break the fourth wall. Hey Ike, that wasn't too bad for your first battle. Not as flashy as my first time though. 
Yeah, you're a real standout. I'll never forget the sight of you, so heat up. You broke your own axe. Oscar, dang it, you didn't have to bring that up. I think the axe guys are always the stupid guys in the Fire Emblem. Like... Archetype... Thing. <laughs> I remember like in Fire Emblem Awakening, the axe guy straight up for forgets to bring his axe to the first battle or something. Anyway, Ike, congrats on finishing your first mission. Welcome to the group. Everyone's alright? Then let's get going. I'm sure Mist has a nice hot meal waiting for us after murder. Nice. Okay, would you like to save? Yes. Let's see, what's the name of the next chapter? Chapter 2 Rescue. Oh, that bodes well, doesn't it? Mercenary Fort. Hello, mysterious rope figure. Oh, Titania, so this is where you've been, is it? Who is this guy? Well, that is what we're going to find out in the next one. Here I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode and the start of this new series. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And it lets me know that you want to see more Fire Emblem in the future. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you next time. And... Bye-bye.